Cool, thank you. All right, welcome to the Indie Contributors Working Group call for May 7th, 2024. Today, what we have on the agenda, uh, the uh, any updates and discussion on uh, the Indie Bezu work, uh, just a, a quick update on the Ubuntu 22.04 upgrade, uh, the Indie report as well, feedback welcome on that, and anything else that anyone would like to bring to the meeting. We're recording this call. It'll be posted on the meeting page later today. We've got the antitrust policy from the Linux Foundation and the Hyperledger Code of Conduct, which we are following on this call. Uh, if you want to put your name on the attendees list, that would be wonderful using the meeting page. In terms of announcements, uh, the Indicio testnet is happening right now as of four minutes ago. Uh, Lynn is resetting the, the testnet. Uh, there will be a new Genesis file created for the testnet and che checked in to the same link that has always been used. Um, if there are any questions, email support at indicio.tech or lynn at indicio.tech. Um, so yeah, that's happening right now. Are there any other announcements or topics to add to the agenda? Stephen, I wasn't sure if there were any updates on the mentorship project submissions or ledger redaction. Happy to add anything uh, additional to the- Yeah, uh, nothing that I've got. I've just too many other things on the agenda, on, on the plate right now. So I don't have anything right. to add um, okay. to those right now. Um, Sounds the, good. I mean, the, uh, the applications are going in. Sam and I are getting contacted regularly to become friends on LinkedIn with many, many people. Okay. That's a good sign. <laughs> nice. There will be applicants. That's great. That's great to hear. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Any, any other announcements or additional agenda items? Just maybe a few words about Bezu. Yeah, if absolutely. We, we can jump in. We can jump mm -hmm. into that. Yeah, go for Sorry, it. Sorry, it looks to like. Share? No, thank you. Looks like I break some uh, cube. Sorry. Uh, so uh, we continue working on the pull request to uh indie methods uh daddy indie method. Uh, so thank you a lot, Sam, for review. Uh, I um improved uh, that part about uh, migration and hope you will have time for review. And if everything is okay, so I believe we can merge it. Uh, so speaking about the, in general, the progress uh, with Andy Bezo, I'm working on CI/CD pipelines, uh, just like a background uh, relaxing process. And uh, a few weeks ago, I visited uh, Blockchain Week in Dubai, and there are a lot of people who are interested uh, in uh, self serving identity, but don't know a lot about this. So I try to make small ad for all of them about India also. So maybe, I don't know, we can have uh, some investments to Indy, to Indibezu, and the whole community work. Let's look. So this is from my side. Thank you. Any questions? Right. Thanks. It must have been warmer in Dubai, I would assume. <laughs> A lot of water in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> um, that sounds interesting. We're not all take a look at that PR now. Mm -hmm. Thank you a lot. Many, many thanks. Great, thank you for that update. Any other uh, discussion topics or questions or updates related to the Indie Bezu project? Maybe just a few words that our next goal here, it is uh, clean documentation because for right now it is good for development, but maybe not too transparent uh, for client and clients. So it is our next goal. And think about Tomstone of course. What was the last thing? 
I mean, uh, we had a big discussion about Tombstone, Tombstone oh, right. uh, future. Uh, last summit and we need to understand uh, clean design for this feature for Indibezum also. Right. So right. we changed um, architecture a bit uh, for make it possible. So and now we need to finalize design about this. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you. Let's see. In terms of the Ubuntu 22.04 upgrade, uh, Kim is out of the office for, for part of this week, but just as a Brief update. Sounds like things are pro progressing well. Um, I yeah, I don't have too much, too many more specific updates than that currently, but uh, still can, in progress. I can, I can add. Well. Um, oh, so we did. I after Kim had done the updates on Indie Plenum, um, I did all the CI/CD updates. So all of that is uh, being all of the artifacts are being published now. Um, for, for that branch and uh, Kim's happy with that and I'm happy with that and he's moved on to uh, working on Indie Node now so great that's cool cool thanks for that update all right that's that's pretty much what we had on the agenda today. Uh, Stephen, on, on Ledger Redaction, it sounds like um, we're just waiting to hear back yeah. with, uh, um, from the applicants. Uh, no, no progress has been made on that. We'll, um, we'll probably have some progress later this week, but right now we haven't made any progress on what mm -hmm. next steps are. Yeah. It's been a busy time. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Any any other discussion topics or questions or announcements for the call today? Actually, I have a question. Um, um, Sam, maybe you know or somebody, but um, we were thinking of the the corporate firewall problem. Um, for mobile agents, um, we're back to thinking about the um, mediator as a proxy for that. Um, ha have you considered that one and any thought of, of whether that's a good way to go? It seems the easiest to us. So all... <clears throat> here's, here's my opinion. I think it's fine if the same hardware does both things. I think that merging the process of being a ledger proxy into the mediator is a bad idea. So if we so, so the, and there's two ways we could do this. One is you uh, just define a didcom protocol to request and receive ledger assets that go may travel through the mediator, but the mediator is unaware. Um, and then you have something like a read replica that is actually answering those queries. Mm -hmm. The second way to do it is to define just a regular, uh, some sort of interface could technically be also didcom based, <clears throat> but, or rest or something that would then access the ledger and return those things. And it would just happen to run on the same hardware, mm -hmm. um, in, in the sense that, and there's no problem with them doing that. I think there's no problem there. What I don't want to do is blend the specs together to the point where, or, or sort of the, 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 the design of a mediator such that it, it also like sort of out of necessity has to be a, a ledger proxy. Does that make sense? Um, and, and why? So separation of concerns. Okay. So what, what we were thinking was a, Didcom protocol that says get ledger asset or something, get VDR uh -huh. info, passes in a request. And um, so it's a request response protocol. You pass it and then it's a plugin. So it could be a plugin to Akapai. So it, it doesn't say it's tied to the mediator or anything. But right. your mediator could run that, and then you can use your same connection you've already got to your mediator to use that. 
Yes. So you no tie, it. no specific that you have to use your meter or mediator or anything, but right, your but you could use that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you said it more clearly than, than I did, in the sense that if you define a DidCom protocol for this and your mediator happens to support it, which you can of course discover through discover features, then you're yes. capable of okay. using the mediator to answer those queries. But but there would be no besides the fact that you have have a mediator piece of software that happens to also support the please resolve yes. this off of okay. any ledger protocol, there would yeah. be no other tie there. Yes. And I'm totally happy with that. That's a good okay. sign. Okay, good. Okay, good. Yeah, we were thinking of it entirely as simply a protocol you you call. It's just a request response protocol. The one party would support the request, one support the response. Okay. Love it. And if a different party wanted to implement it just on a standalone piece of agent that wasn't a mediator, that would also be okay. But there's nothing wrong with having the mediator also do it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And you know what? We could use DRPC, <laughs> or we could certainly I, experiment with using it. We could experiment. I'd love it to be an independent. Uh, exactly. I, I get it. Yeah. But yeah, OK. But it is almost a duplicate, because it is a request response. But I think it would be better to be, yeah. Well, the okay. outer shell's the same, but the semantics are different. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. OK, good. Thanks. That was very helpful. Sounds good. Any other topics or questions, points of discussion for today? Oh, it might be worth mentioning. Um, so Ontario is currently updating uh, their, well, migrating their nodes to uh, uh, Ubuntu 2004 and the latest release of uh, the Sovereign packages uh, on the uh, Candy Dev network, which is currently Sovereign. Um, basically, we're going to get all the provinces to uh, upgrade their nodes, and then we're going to um, to uh, freeze the token ledger, and then uh, eventually migrate to a vanilla version of Indie Node. Uh, it's the only candy ledger that is using the sovereign packages. So cool. Excellent. Yeah. So ran into a little few little hiccups yesterday that we got through. A few few things missing from the from the scripts that I hadn't put a PR in for yet. Um, but uh, other than that, we got through it and they got it upgraded and everything's fine. So they're doing their second one today. Excellent. Nice. Cool. With that, um, any other topics or questions? All right, I think we can Go ahead and call it. Thanks, everyone, for joining the call, and we'll see you all in two weeks. All right. Have a good day. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.